Good morning. I had another snow day today. It has been a crazy winter around here. I've had a lot of snow days. I teach school, so um, I take advantage of them. So I just finished a diamond painting last night. Well, except for some missing drills. But um, today's a perfect day to get started on a new one. So I'm going to do this one for my granddaughter. I ordered a bunch of stuff from Ann by. Well, five. They had a buy four, get one free at and buy. So this one was actually the free one. It was $4.99. Okay. Um, it was advertised as 25 by 30, which is the entire canvas. Um, the actual drill field, when you measure it, is 19 and a half by 24 and a half. Okay, so she is this cute, cute little pink girl looking at a toadstool with a fairy underneath. Perfect for a granddaughter. Okay, so you see a lot of the pink in her dress here, a lot of the pink. Um, the whole background's going to be dark, but it's a round drill. Um, all of the symbols are letters. They're just letters, nothing fancy, no numbers, nothing like that. So here's a close-up of the drill field. Um, I'll use my light pad because of the dark colors on the background. But everything else is super clear, easy to decipher. Okay, You're seeing this canvas clearly after I've taken it out of the package. It came with all the others, you know, bundled up. They were all in their own individual little package inside a big package, of course. Um, they were all what I call creased from being rolled. I've ironed them all. I've ironed every single canvas so it's nice and flat with no wrinkles. All right, I cannot stand the wrinkles. I just got done with a project that had a couple of little creases in the back. I can see it on the front. I'm going to have to see if I can do something with that. But it's going to be really, really cute. I think she's just adorable. Um, there are the DMC numbers. DMC numbers are over here on the legend. And the drills all come hooked together in order. I like it when they do this. Um, the individual packages that you have to sort through and find your numbers kind of drive me crazy. This is so much easier to put into my jars and get ready to go. DMC numbers are also on there. So it's a lot of pinks and some greens. And then, of course, that dark background, but lots of purpley pink colors in these. And the DMC numbers are also on the bag, as well as the number on the top. It's an extra one that's hanging out over here, which I love that color. So that's the project. It's going to be pretty quick to do, which is nice because I just got done doing something larger. I'll be back shortly to show you how it turned out. Okay, so she's finished. Here's a reminder of what the little fairy girl looked like from the photo. It's pretty detailed, so I knew I was going to lose some of that when I went into this smaller canvas to do it in diamonds. So let's move over to the canvas and I'll show you what we ended up with. So there we go. Let me back it out just a little bit because it really looks better from further away. Um, yeah, it lost detail. All right, I, I kind of knew it would. You can tell this is a, a mushroom up here. I kind of wish the mushroom was darker brown, but I understand they wanted to stick with the purpley pinkish tones, but it would have probably shown up better if it was brown, all right? She does have um, a flowered like headband on her head. You can kind of see something there. This looks a little silly. It's a ribbon that hangs down, which doesn't really transfer well to that. She did end up with a face. I mean, she kind of has a nose and an eye, so she does have somewhat of a face. The arm, actually, when I was doing the arm, I didn't think the arm was going to turn out very well, but it actually kind of did. The lantern turns out pretty good as well. So here's what I want to show you, which is interesting. This part of the painting, well, there's the little fairy that's underneath the toadstool in the little white area. 
if you look at that, okay, that's not bad. Now, what happens with this painting is that underneath this lantern is apparently a pond, a pool of water, and the rest of this is a reflection of this part of the painting. So when you get down here, it's kind of like, oh, what is going on here? I don't know. All right, you kind of got to really look at it. So lantern, black, outline of the black lantern here. Um, you know, her dress here, flipped up, is down here. Part of this wing, I believe, is over here. The green flips this way, you know. So this bottom part, all of this is really a reflection, which, I don't know, it kind of makes it look goofy a little. The actual girl herself, if you just looked at this part right here, I mean, that doesn't look too shabby for a small little painting. Anyhow, you know, I kind of knew this was how it was going to turn out just based on the size and how detailed the picture was. It wasn't going to really transfer perfectly to a diamond painting. Like I said, it's for my granddaughter. I'm going to throw this in probably, I don't know, a white frame. It turns out to be pretty much 8 by 10. Throw it in a nice white frame and, you know, she'll love it. That's all that matters, really, right? She'll love it. Um, it went very well. I didn't have one single problem with the project at all. The canvas was nice, you know, after I ironed it. All the drills were there. Nothing was missing. I had plenty of drills left over. Everything went on pretty simply. It took me like three or four days after work to do it. So, you know, it's cute. It turned out. Now, if you wanted it in a larger size, you know, you'd get a lot more detail. You'd get probably a better facial facial features, more of that headband. I still think that that, that toadstool is going to, you know, not show up as good as it could if it was a little more brown. But, you know, that's the color tones of the picture. So there's another one in the books, and I hope you enjoy the video.